Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am finally bringing you all my questions and answers. I asked these questions over on Instagram, who it's been a minute now, and I kind of forgot about them. And so I was like, let me just go ahead and answer the questions while I get ready. I am currently in Philadelphia right now. And so, yeah, we're gonna be on the move. So I wanted to show you guys this new charger that I got from iWalk. They will be sponsoring this question and answer, so let's get to it. Let's talk about the iWalk small portable charger. This thing I have been wanting forever, so I was so excited when they reached out to me. It is super portable. It is super chic. It is about the size of lipstick, and I absolutely love it. This little thing packs so much power. So what I also love is you can find this device on Amazon. And believe me, I will be going on Amazon because you know I have to have the bling one. This device is a little over $30. It's great for traveling. It's great if you're always on the go. It has mobility while charging and you can use on a plane. So let's unbox it so you can see everything that came with it. I absolutely love this because I just came from a trip and it allowed me to put it in my small purses that I carry like to restaurants and concerts and etc. without weighing it down or taking up too much space. So like I told you, I did get the pink model. You will get a charger to charge it with you will get a book it tells you like all of the different chargers and devices that they carry in the store i said a book but it's more like a sheet pamphlet basically these are unique portable and they are an essential this company has been around for a minute they did put a pamphlet in here so you can know everything that come with it and how to use it so let's just talk about it real quick on the side right here is how you power your device off and on super easy and sleek and how you would know that your device is on is you will see the lights light up right there. On the side is where you would use to charge it. And right here is what you use to stick in your phone to charge your phone. I absolutely love that this right here is not detachable because you know we will lose it. So you can just snap it back on when you're not charging your phone. So let's just pull out our phone and see how this works. So I absolutely love this thing. I can't say it enough. I love it so much. So you just turn it on. There's built-in lightning plug. Super support. It's really thick. It's really lightweight though. It passed through technology and you will get everything you need to be portable. Look at that. You just plug it in. Your device is charging and you just take it and you can still use your device while it's charging. So I'm just going to show you different purses and different sizes that this fit in so you can see how small and how portable it is i will highly recommend this they do have all colors i already bought a black one because babe want one so they do have them for men if you want like a black color they do have bling and everything so i will highly recommend this company i will leave i walk below along with any discount codes i have and don't forget to check out their other products as well So I will make sure I link that below. I have been wanting that for so long because I saw it on, I want to say Julie, um, TikTok and Instagram and etc. So I'm super excited about that. So I will leave the link below along with a discount code if I have one. So make sure you check it out. Okay, you guys are getting ready with me. We're at a weird angle. I already started my foundation. I can't even see y'all. The light is, this mirror is from Timu. So, I already have on Estee Lauder double wear. We're barely, I thought I did. Let me put some more on, I couldn't see. So I just take my F brush. So we're just gonna do the questions and answers while I get ready. Oh, uh, I would need my phone for the questions. <laughs> my bad, y'all. Okay, so I didn't look at any of these questions. This is Cover Girl. I just, after um, the thing was almost about to expire, I just went in and screenshot them. So, they all off the dome. I gotta be honest, cause the base sitting right there. Should be like, girl, you lying. 
if I don't answer something. At one time, oh, hold on, I'm going backwards. It say, how you truly feel today and how your day go? <laughs> um, That's a weird question. I say all the time that I never fully feel myself. The doctors say it's hormones and then they say it's depression and anxiety. So, I don't know. I never, ever, ever, ever feel like myself though. I just have no choice but to keep going because who else gonna do it, you know? I gotta work, I gotta provide. <clears throat> but I say on a scale of one to 10, I'm pro I probably feel like a four, honestly. Like as far as mood, health, yeah. All right guys, so this is my Lord Mercier powder. It's just a travel one. Let's see where, there we go. So the next question is, what tips advice would you give to someone starting a business or a YouTube channel? I've done this so many times. Let me try to get a smile here so I don't block y'all. Um, tips and advice. During a pandemic, every video, I gave tips and advice to small, I mean not small, like yeah, small businesses. Um, and as far as the YouTube advice, that's kind of hard because I feel like YouTube is luck of the draw, honestly. Yeah, people are going to say be consistent, do things different, do this. But honestly, it's a, it's a bunch of copy and paste on here. So you can't even really say being different. Well, yes, you can because I can say like certain people are different and they're, they are way further than others. And it's like everybody's jocking their style. So it's like do you be different like it's kind of hard i don't even know how, what i'm trying to say but i just say just start it you never know with youtube and with a business like a lot of times we are the ones that hold our own self back our nerves our anxiety like when starting businesses businesses and etc so honestly i say just start you never know until you start and if it ain't working out switch it up a few times to make it work out and then if you can't get it then maybe that just isn't for you i never say give up like the first time something don't go right or something no keep trying this is mac um studio fix powder but don't like go broke or go in debt or anything like that and keep trying different methods of whatever you're trying to do like it's kind of like youtube started off a makeup influencer Nobody watch makeup tutorials. Move over to blogs. Nobody watch blogs. Move. You just got to adjust with the times and keep going. And then if you've exhausted your remedies, try something else. Try something else. So, ironically, the next question is, would you move? This is my cover girl, Queen Ebony Bronze. I'm a bronze a little bit. Oh, I need a mirror. Right? Would you move so Nicole could be closer to her mom? Can you hear me, Nicole? Oh, she can't even hear me. We just had this discussion. That's why I asked her, could she hear me? Um, <laughs> no, because she wouldn't, right? Can you hear me? Take your earplugs off. My next question was, could I, would I move so you could be closer to your mom? And I said, no, because you wouldn't. She don't even want to move. So I guess that's a no-brainer question, and that's the reason why, because... Why would I move and she don't even want to move, you know? So, yeah. So, I am going to put that same powder in my crease and take it down my nose, which is running because, you know, typical platinum D. So, I need to get something to catch it. Just like that. I take it into my eyebrow a little bit, too. Sorry. So... Cause it's a lot of questions. No questions. Just wanted to say I've been praying for you, Nicole, and the family. Thank you so much. Enjoy watching your weekly vlogs. Do you have any plans to travel this year? Thanks. Ironically, I'm in Pennsylvania right now, Philadelphia. So, as far as traveling, I still have a bit of anxiety. Can you give me some tissue. Tissue. Facial tissue. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I still have a bit of anxiety. So if I travel, I'm not going anywhere like too far. I have medical trauma PTSD, guys. 
And so I feel like I don't want to be somewhere and something go wrong and I'm like out the country or something. Like, I haven't been out the country but once. Excuse me. I haven't been out the country once since um, I've been, I got sick or um, since I've been grieving. And that was for Monet wedding. That was kind of like almost, not I had to, but I had to. So voluntarily, mm, I can't see myself. Well, I won't say that. It'd have to be somewhere close though, honey, where like if something happened, I can get back to the States. Um, but as far as trips, yeah, I do have a few planned like birthday, anniversary type stuff. So I'm just gonna go ahead while I have the camera on it and put my blush on which is MAC uh, Peach Me. Girl, it's a throwback. Girl, I ain't got no blush. I need to put the right brushes up in here. Lord. This is the Glam by Shine brush set, but it's like certain brushes I use at home every day, so I'm used to grabbing for those. <laughs> so I just need to mock that set in my trouble. So, yeah, that's it with the trips. So, next, if you wasn't being an influencer, what would you be doing? That's a good question. Because it's kind of hard to go back to doing anything after being an influencer, being your own boss, scheduling your own stuff. You can determine how much you make. Like, I take a certain amount of sponsorships a month comfortably where companies are not bugging me nonstop and et cetera. And I make a certain amount from sponsorships and stuff a month off top, you know. But, um, honestly, I would probably be a private investigator or something along those lines. Like a, uh, <laughs> something like that. Because I'm real good at stuff like that. I'm that friend you call <laughs> when you're trying to find out something. Okay. Um, I wouldn't be an attorney or judge or nothing like that because that's what I went to school to be. But watching all of my friends, nah, that ain't what I'm gonna do, y'all. <laughs> they be stressed, be getting harassed. Okay, so this is Lancome. No, this is Estee Lauder. No, this is Lancome highlighter in dazzling bronze. Girl, they be stressed. Them smear campaigns and Having to watch your back and all that. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> so, yeah. Hope that answers that. I should have gave the beta read while I, so I can keep going. If you weren't a Texas native, what state would you live in and why? Oh, gosh. I love Texas so much. I tell Nicole, I could never see myself living outside. I absolutely love Texas. Because it's so big. Everything is here. Especially Dallas. We got all the major sports teams. Um, but honestly, Atlanta. The other place they say, stop moving here. Dallas is one of them. Texas is one of them. Atlanta, Georgia. I like culture. I like, yeah. Like, ooh, I want to be where it's lit. So, it would be Atlanta. <laughs> So the next thing is can't wait to meet you out in DFW. Okay, boo. You know what's crazy about that? A lot of people always be like, have a meet and greet. Y'all done had so many meet and greets. I done had them at dealers. I done had them at hair companies. I done had them and people barely show up. So it's like I stopped doing them. And it's not just me. Like I know YouTubers with millions of subscribers and people barely showed up. So it's always like, mm, you do it. And then it's like the response isn't what I'm gonna go in with some Mac Fix Plus, y'all. Uh, so it kind of like steers you away from them. My fan is charging, so I have to do this. So you charge it up, babe? Yes, yeah, she charging. So the next thing is, will you start back doing makeup tutorials? No. Ironically, but this is not a tutorial. It's more of a get ready with me. They just don't get the views And I don't think a lot of people understand how much go behind a YouTube video Better than sex two-faced. Um Yeah, you guys look at it. just like oh all that easy money They make all they do is go around but like it takes a lot to sit up here and record step by step edit step by step Etc. Make sure you like it and then nobody barely watch them Back in the day, oh yeah, people will watch them. But I feel like now everybody feel like they know how to do makeup. So there's no need for them to watch tutorials, you know. 
and the last tutorial i did i said in there i will link it right here that if it didn't get a lot of views i wasn't gonna do many more get ready with me's not like that this is different because it's a question and answer but just straight up get ready with me we do the videos to get watched guys you know so i know a fraction of people might say well i still watch them but it's, it throws your algorithm off if you want me to be perfectly honest with you look on my page and you see 15,000 15,000 15,000 15,000 and then boom 4,000 now that happens with hair reviews but also hair companies pay us a lot so that's kind of worth it yeah the views are going to plummet but we got you know we paid a bill so the vlogs are what people watch and so what you do is give the people what they watch you know so yeah and it ain't about money it ain't it's about time y'all well i'm saying it ain't about money but i just said the hair company pay but i guess it is about money shit let me stop trying to sugarcoat it it's just it's a lot and makeup is not exciting like it was to me anymore if you just really want to know the truth like I used to run and be like, oh, the new palette, oh, the new eyeshadow. This is Miss Creative Diva um, brow pencil. Of course, that's all I use. Um, but it's not exciting to me like that anymore. I still love it, clearly. But even like when we was at the carnival, dang, I always say carnival, circus the other day. And Monet was like fully beat and I'm like free and I just couldn't. And she was like, well, I just did it. It's like, I just, if I don't have to wear it, I don't. I don't so I do some occasionally but it's not gonna be like my main focus anymore like it was at one point if that answers the question so can't wait to restart as a natural giver how do you set boundaries financially and mentally I don't I'm going crazy I'm tired of it I really am it's to the point to where I'm starting to realize it's not getting reciprocated or people don't appreciate it or I feel like people expect it out of me. So when they expect it out of you, they like expect you to do stuff so they don't appreciate it. And I literally have to like, hold on, yeah, I have to like cut stuff off or stop doing something for people to understand the magnitude of what I do for them. Prime example, like I had my truck extra for two whole years and my dad was just driving it around everywhere because I got had a car. And then, so I decided to sell the truck and my dad is just like making everybody at the church, his family and everything feel like I did them so wrong. But it's just like, I made a decision that was good for me. But you didn't realize how there was a privilege all that time. I didn't have to, I didn't have to like, I had a whole extra truck for nothing. A truck that the point of me getting a car was because my truck was so noticeable. So why did I keep the truck? For him but when I let it go for me it's a problem so that's what I mean like people expect me to do things automatically and then when I don't they play victim so it's getting kind of draining um I am setting boundaries now though I don't give and do and stuff as much as I used to but I still need to Take it down some and financially i just don't answer like people can hit me with fifty thousand sob stories and i just be like what well, girl because if you let them they gonna drain you only people i like even should make her own money should makes her own money and barely ask me for stuff so somebody you know random talking about some they caught this and like I, I don't file for all that anymore because we in a, we live in a society now where people will ask you to do something for them before they try. So like, for example, if not Nicole, I'm just using her for an excuse, like if Nicole car break down, before she even try to get the money to fix it, she'll just ask me because she know I got it. That's the kind of society we live in now. So first of all, you got to tell those people, well, did you try this? Well, did you try this? Did you try this? Or did you just call me first? You get what so I'm saying? Exactly. All I have to do is put my lashes on. That was quick. Well, it's a quick beat. Just a little daytime beat. So you look a little polished, but not, you know, overdone. So I'll go ahead and put my earrings on. I always wait till after I do my face so I don't get foundation and etc. 
on my earrings. These are the Tory Burch Miller earrings. I already have on this cute heart necklace from Shein. It comes in silver and gold. Um, at one time you were near divorce. How did you guys repair your guys' relationship? That's a good question because this is Sephora lip stain on one. I don't even know what I'm wearing today, but a red lip gonna do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, wow, I can't even answer that hardly. Cause I feel like it really still ain't repaired. I just feel like you go through things in a marriage, in a relationship, friendship, situationship, is sometimes you just be tripping or you just need to see. I do feel like that if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't still be married. I do feel that way. I feel like I'm the fighter. I feel like I'm the one that keep it going. I feel like if a lot of the times when Nicole left, if I wouldn't have fought, she would still be gone. So that kind of strains me a little bit because you, it leaves you feeling like, do you really want to be here or are you just here because, I don't know, she's right here. Nicole, can you hear me? So I want you to come answer this because this, this is a hard one. I could barely answer it. It said, one time you were near divorce, how did you guys repair the relationship? And I just said, I still feel like it's not repaired. I just feel like in every situation you go through stuff. So it's either, it's fight or flight. flight. What's your answer to that? That's, that's it's not much different than yours. I don't feel like it, it's ever been repaired. We just. Now I did tell him, I feel like if it wasn't for me, we wouldn't still be married. Do you feel that way? That's what I'm Why? <clears throat> Just answer it. I don't know like what the answer is though. I mean, I do feel like that's true. I just don't know why. Like, exactly. So, you can't. Uh, well, she I, got a feeling. It's true, but she can't explain why. You what? I was, I don't know. Cartier do. So, I was right. We wouldn't still be married if it wasn't for me, but she can't tell you why. I can tell you why I feel like why I already explained it, but it's ironic that she's sitting here. I wanted to see what's her reason, the same reason why my reason is, but she don't know. But, why is it? Huh? Why is it? I just say because I, I don't even remember what I said. I just, I just said that I feel like um, I'm the fighter and I'm the one that want it. I just say that, like, I feel like a lot of the times when you left, if I wouldn't have, like, not begged, but yeah, begged you to come back, you wouldn't have. And you verified it, basically. Long story short, Nicole does not like discussing our business on YouTube. That's why that took that interesting turn, which is 100% okay because this is my channel and not hers. So she did not want to talk about why she felt their way on camera because you guys don't perceive it well all the time and don't know us personally so that's what happened there so we're gonna spray up with patrick's uh one size and move on to the next question because whew. so um no question. I love you and can't wait to see you. the rosy. The oh, can't wait to see the rosy nosies. LOL. I guess you're talking about y'all, y'all. She can't wait to see y'all be nosy with these questions. I don't feel like it's being nosy. I asked. I asked the question, so you know. Y'all didn't get too deep. Sometimes y'all get deep. But y'all didn't get too deep. So, next question. We're gonna put on Miss Creative Diva lashes. I took them out her lash book, but this is a six figure. I just have them in there. 
It's like, I don't have friends and want to know how to make friends when you're over 35. Child, girl. <laughs> Uh, uh, that's all these questions kind of hard, y'all, because I just feel like you really don't need them. I mean, to make them. Like, if if you're 35 and you don't have any friends, why? I mean, that's a complex question because I'm 42 and I have like friends from second grade and stuff, and then I have people I just met last month. I mean, not saying that they're friends, so it's just like if you don't have them from coming up what makes you feel like you need them now does that make sense am i making sense but i just say get out mingle social like i go to a lot of women events and stuff throughout dallas and meet a lot of powerful successful nice women i just feel like handle everybody with a uh what you call it A, a long two, long handle spoon, something like that. Cause people be having ulterior alter, uh, motives. Cause people have motives and, but yeah, start at events. Like you can always go on like Eventbrite and stuff and find events in your neighborhood or, um, just be friendly. It's that easy. When you at places, talk to people. Hey, your outfit is cute. Start conversation starter and then just go from there. Or, hey, I see you eating alone. Or, hey, I see you came in alone. I'm alone too. Just gotta take a chance. Okay, so I need to do my hair, but I'm gonna put on this first, I already have Sol Hanera body spray on. So let's get back to the questions because I don't think it's that many. Um, were you always confident in yourself? If not, how did you build confidence through the years? I've always been confident. Always. I've never had a problem with confidence. That's why when people ask me like how to build confidence, that's always a hard question for me because I've always had high self-esteem confidence now I have stuff I don't like about me and that's different but that doesn't take away from me being confident like I just feel like it's a mind thing sometimes we all trapped in our own mind it's like some stuff we see others don't even see or recognize until we pull it out sometimes or point it out so I don't know like it's what oh, this smells so good y'all and when he restock, it be selling out so fast. I put it on my Instagram and stuff when he do. You just have to like pay attention. This and Kama Sutra. Ooh, now my jam's right there. But yeah, I've always been confident, so it's kind of hard. Like, I don't think confidence can be taught or you can tell somebody how to be confident. I think it's just like, that's something you gotta work on within yourself and see why you're not confident. Like, change what it is. <laughs> we can change everything now. If you're confident because your weight, gonna die and have surgery. You're not confident, I mean, not confident confident because of your body shape. <laughs> change it if you got the money. Make life short. Do whatever you need to do to be happy. That might be terrible advice, but if it's somebody else that's making you not feel confident, you know, just figure out what it is that's making you not confident and roll with that. So y'all, we're gonna switch over to my favorite gorgeous wig today. That's literally the name of the company. Gorgeous. <laughs> y'all know I got three wigs from them and I swear by them. Goodness gracious, they got some good easy thong wigs. So I'm gonna do the bang one, the short one. And let's see how many more questions we got. Okay, no shade, but are you still getting your teeth done? Who asked it? Because depending on who it is, it might be shade. You know, some of y'all, y'all be in my inbox a lot. And this is one person that always comes out angry to me. Not angry, but anytime I post something, they post like long paragraphs. Like, so I think that kind of was shade. Because why did you start it with that if it wasn't? And if I never said I wasn't, 
Why would you ask that? I just explained it. I said that the person who's doing them is in Colombia and comes to the state four times a month. I mean, four months, four times a year. And when they come back, I'll get in then. Because the last time she came, I was going through all those problems with my gums and etc. from the parasites. And my doctor was like, it's not the time. Girl, get your gums right first. Why are you trying to get some teeth? So I have to wait till the next round. But yes, I am. Until then, I'm going to... the heck? I had this up in a ponytail the other day. Until then, I'm going to keep wearing my removable ones that do the job, which I will link below, which I'm gonna put in in a second. So, no shade, but yes, cause I never said I was. The video has an interesting amount of unusual turns, right? So, um, let's see. How to not be discouraged when others around you are always negative. But, wait. How to not be discouraged when others around you are always negative. Hmm. <laughs> like I just said, this is doing an interesting turn because, yeah. Get some more people around you. Who you around that's always negative? Get some more people around you, honey. Or just ignore it. But that's gonna stress you too. That starts to wear on you too. I just be flat ironing this wig any kind of way, guys. But it's so good. It just, it do its job. Um, yeah, I can't do it. I'll, everybody who I be around now, super positive. And it, it motivates me. Like, my judge friends, my everything. It's a whole different type of vibe. Like, I can't even lie. At one point of time, I was sitting at tables where people was the discussion. And when you do that, you indulge in it. Whether you do it consciously or not, you're gonna indulge in it. So if you sit at tables where like, stuff like that is not the discussion or the topic, then you have no choice but to have a different outcome unless you're the one that starts it. Does that make sense? So I just feel like switch up your environment. Your leg is going to size up to like an 8X. Um, honestly, never. And that sounds harsh, but it's like I, as a business owner and a person who's been a business owner for a lot of years, I've sold a lot of different stuff, earrings, dresses, purses. When people put in like requests like that, a lot of that stuff just sits in inventory. So what sells out at my store is like large, extra large, 1X, 2X, 3X. I still have 6X leggings from some leggings I tried and they're still in stock, 5X, 5X panties. Cause it's not like a lot of women that's that size. And a lot of times in business, when you're ordering pieces, you can't just say, well, just send me 10 8Xs and a hundred largest. It, it's like a minimum on the amount of stuff you can get. So I would have to order like, I'm just throwing out a number, a hundred, eight X's and probably 12 of them will sell. So now I'm sitting with all this inventory. And then honestly, like when people make stuff, they try the, you know, five and six X is the most up they'll go. I'm just being honest y'all. So um, I don't think I would ever carry up to, I mean, get, you know, up to an eight X. We got two more questions. How's your mental health? Send you love, peace, and strength. Well, I kind of answered that on the first question. It's up and down, good and bad days. I think my environment and my stress level 
has a lot to do with it. Um, Cause I always say like a lot of my problems don't sting, stem for me. It's like um, this week I say Monday and Tuesday, I'm just gonna rest in my room, not work, da 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 da. And I couldn't. My daddy kept bamming on the door for stuff. The simplest things like shoe, let her when else she came running in her cause she had a client. It's like I can never rest. That's why I like literally have to do staycations to get any kind of rest or alone time because my daddy don't grasp the concept that just because I'm at home don't mean I can be bothered all the time. Like it might look to you like I'm just sitting in the bed on my phone, but I'm literally working, making thousands like this. Like I'm not just on the phone, bro, you know? So I think my mental health, when I make some adjustments, housewives and etc i think my mental health could get better i hope because this ain't it honey ass yes, honey because we barely made it through this one after your weight loss was it easy to adjust to your new slimmer size oh that isn't last we got a whole nother page oh i'm going backwards what that scared me <laughs> i'm like oh we got a whole nother page where was i at why does this keep doing it over and over? Hold on, let me find this question. After your weight loss, was it easy to adjust to your new slimmer size? No, I'm still not adjusted. I'm one of them type of people that didn't have a problem being bigger. Um, only health issues I had was blood pressure. Like I feel like this stemming from stress, not my weight because I've been a bigger person my whole life. And blood pressure is also hereditary. But, um. I lost weight and you know, I felt like, oh, I'm, I done lost weight. My blood pressure and stuff still be tripping. Um, I lost a lot of sponsorships because most of my companies were plus size, even though I still, I'm still plus size. But yeah. um, that's a whole nother conversation for YouTube. How like plus size influencers only get a lot of attention if they be because you either filing big and get attention or small and get attention. And in the middle, you just get swallowed up. They don't know where to place you, you know. But um, I'm still not adjusted because even though I'm smaller, I still have a stomach. Everything drooped, titties, stomach, everything. Because you lose so much weight. I don't like my arms. So I still don't look in the mirror and feel 100% happy. Like I was happier with my body when it was bigger because I guess it was... <laughs> inflated and everything was like not gravity didn't take it down as much but I don't know I just feel like that's that's a, another reason why when people be like she had surgery she had surgery she had so she snuck and had surgery I'm like girl no I didn't because I like being big so <laughs> yeah I went and went and got surgery because I liked my size before loved it I didn't have a problem with it so always but yeah I mean I'm happy it's a look but I also feel like big big platinum was a look too <laughs> all right guys so I hope you enjoyed this question and answer I will do more so you guys can ask me more questions I just went ahead and got dressed oh, hold on Hold on guys, I have my MCM bag on like this. One of those $10 leathery shirts from One Body, One something like that I told you guys about. And y'all, it has that fishy odor. So I'm really contemplating about changing. Yeah, cause I can't do that. I need to wash this first. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the question and answer. Um, it was kind of a weird twist for me, but I made it through it. Cause some of them questions were like, ah. Oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah, leave your questions below and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye. Really, 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 really.